What's going on YouTubers? Gedang775. I'm back with a quick video and before I get on to my topics, I just want to put a quick update on the LG V20, the best $350 um, smartphone for vlogging and audio files right now. Um, that review is coming tomorrow. I suppose it is supposed to come out on Monday because seven. You, I usually take seven days to do a phone review, but that's coming out tomorrow. I've been busy. There's a few things that came up, but now on to my opinions on PlayStation's Tokyo Game Show, and it was not a pretty one, in my opinion. Okay, these are my opinions, not yours, mine. Okay, if you get butt hurt or salty over my opinions, hey, that's fine. That's your problem, but <laughs> but first off. It was crap. I, I thought it was crap. Well, not crap. Maybe a C. Okay, C minus maybe, because PlayStation they kept it going. They the conference they did show off you know quite a few games and a lot of games that they showed off is basically all Japanese stuff, and I see the majority of those titles that they showed off will not sell well on Xbox. Um, I totally understand why. And I kind of understand why Phil Spencer says it. Um, not Phil Spencer. Xbox or Microsoft is kind of hesitant to get into Japan market, you know, and it's not really doing well anyway in Japan, the Xbox One. And I mean, it doesn't really appeal anymore to American gamers. Sure, there were some RPGs out there that appealed to gamers back in the 360 era, but as of right now, in the Xbox One, there's nothing. There's zero, zilch, not a negatory, nothing. So. I mean, and they promoted some pretty crappy looking games. Look at Earth Defense Force 5 or something like that. I think it was Earth Defense Force, man. It was choppy as shit. I mean, it was choppy. It was, the explosions look messed up. Um, Yeah, it was pretty bad. I mean, <laughs> I watched the whole thing. It was like an hour or something, hour and change. And I, I found myself, you know, I was like, wow. It wasn't as bad as like, oh, I say, yeah, it wasn't as bad as Microsoft's Gamescom conference. That one sucked ass. Okay, that one, yeah, Microsoft, you guys got to own up to that. Um, but it's very close to being bad. Now, is it better than their E3? Um, no, it was probably worse than their E3 performance. And Microsoft's E3 performance, in my opinion, was the king this year, even though E3 was pretty crap. Uh, Microsoft's E3 thing, E3 conference was the king of crap, and Sony and this conference was more crappier than crap. <laughs> Explain it, but yeah, it wasn't it wasn't that good. There are only a couple things that stuck out to me when I was watching this conference. Um, Hokuto no Ken, uh, American translate, um, English translation, Fist of the North Star, and that one looked interesting. I I liked the previous Fist of the North Star that came out for the Xbox 360. It was kind of Dynasty Warrior-ish. You know, Dynasty Wars, you know, that, that the game where you take on hundreds of, of bad guys at the same time, you just beat the crap out of them, they all fly out of the way, and you do your, you're like super powerful. Yeah, it, it was kind of like that. So, this kind of gave me an Attack on Titan kind of feel, because Attack on Titan, that's like my favorite anime game as of right now. And it kind of looked like that, the way they were moving, dodging, the way you were fighting, like Kinshiro was fighting Jagi and stuff like that. It looked pretty cool. I mean, I don't know how they're going to do it. If it's anything like what they showed in the trailer, I'm 100% on board. And I think they said it's first coming to the PlayStation 4. I said first on PS4, then it's coming to the Xbox One. I think that's what they said. Uh, I gotta go rewatch that, but I'm pretty sure that's coming to the Xbox One. And they showed off some more um, footage of Monster Hunter World. Most of it was like, I think, like, just, you know cutscenes that's what it looked like to me but they did show a few parts at the end of the end of monster hunter world um the presentation that looked like gameplay so i'm really interested in it and if you haven't seen it yet the playstation 4 pro monster hunter world edition now this is a custom console this looks leagues better than the call of duty world war 2 version of the PS4 Pro that they're releasing. I mean, if you're gonna buy a PS4 Pro soon or anytime, um, try and wait for this Monster Hunter World Edition. If you want something snazzy, um, this one looks. This one actually looks good. Okay, it does. It actually does look good. And I can't wait for Monster Hunter World to come out. Of course, it's gonna be on both. It's multi-plat. It's gonna be on the Xbox One and the PS4. Um, I don't know if it's coming to the Switch. I think they're getting their own. I think they're they're getting their own Monster Hunter World, some kind of different version. But um, yeah, that was my 
video i just wanted to put that out there that playstation tokyo game show pretty much solidified my reasoning for selling my ps4 pro and ps vita and just going all in on xbox and steam i still have my classic uh, my playstation 2 where i can play my old star ocean my star ocean 2 my wild arms games you know those classic games i can still play those games and I'm totally fine with that. But yeah, it's good thing 775. Thanks for watching this video. If you like this video, hit that like button and subscribe to my channel for more videos every few days. If you didn't like this video, hit that dislike button. And let me know in the comments down below. I do appreciate that criticism. It's good thing 775. Thanks for watching. Peace out.